Broken Generation episode six. And we're back. Apologies for last week. Like, I want to send a big shout, big apology to all the people that was like waiting, really, you know, anticipating that, that, you the know, team. That, like yeah, weekend yeah. Yeah, depends yeah. on them hearing me and you talk. I know, man. So, you know, I want to send a big sorry to them first. First and foremost, we'll get that out of the way. Send yeah, our man. apologies. Much apologies. You know how life goes, isn't it? Like, I did my little dead video in my car. I weren't dead, you know, fam. I was very professional. I was trying to get you involved <laughs> yeah, on the video yeah, call. So, All till so, now, I haven't even got a response on that message. I left that ghost here, yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> like, I wanted you. You know, like, what they do when they're, like, two people's on the screen. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's what I wanted. You just left me high and dry. No, I just thought, you know what? You, you could front that, innit? You I thought, I it, better say it. something. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, man. I don't know. True, man. <laughs> You know, I didn't know when we was getting in next, so I wanted to let people know that sometimes I do get a haircut. No, facts, facts. So, that's the reason why. But yeah, man, we're back, so that's a good thing, isn't it? There you go. That's in a new location. Um, yeah, it's a good location. It's not too bad, fam. And hopefully, we'll be able to change it a bit, adapt it, obviously, set it to our needs. Our likes, you know? Yeah. Our and, vibe. And try and get that up. Like, we're going to get some, like, African tribe stuff on the wall and them thing there. We're kind of doing that. Yeah, forever. And that. We're still in Black History Month for, what, another, what, week? That's why I'm in my own black, got... brother. Nah, that's, that's why I got the Afro eye. And that, and I see the comb still. You got that old school comb. Got the pick there. Black type. Yeah, it's our nah, month, isn't it, Yeah, man? same with me, man. That's why I got the, um... Yeah, anyway. you're, rep- you're repping as well, I can tell. <laughs> 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 Obviously, man's a Liverpool supporter, yeah? But we're Ops. champions. So I just wear what any top I want to wear. All right, so we get that out of the way from earlier. I don't want to hear no one talk to me about it. This brother supports Liverpool, but he's got a Barcelona top. Is what it is. It's you in it. It's your colour, that's what it's it is. It's what it is. I'm pink, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, pink. that's you in it. That's how it goes. Over that, how is the last week been for you? Obviously, we didn't catch up last week. Yeah, yeah. Well, we caught up, but we didn't record that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, how is the last week Yeah, been? good, man. Good, good. Not really been up to too much work and that. Usual. Usual, usual. Oh, the same with me. You know, and I'm trying to think back, actually, what did, what I, did do? I do this week? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the country. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, I was still here. <laughs> Barely. But I'm still here. I don't, yeah, I can't think of anything exciting that happened in my life. No, I ain't going to lie. My week was kind of dead, to be honest. Just work, kids, usual stuff, innit? Just the usual, just the usual. usual. Obviously, a few things are happening in the news, where a few things have been prominent, grabbing our attention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to discuss a few of those topics. Only the way we know how to. I think there is a topic in there that is a real, real serious topic. Yeah, facts. And we spoke before and I said, I don't really know enough about it. But I'm just going to give my opinion the way we give our opinion. You know what's, what's good is that we're engaging in the discussion. So there even we if go. we're just setting it up, setting the parameters about it, like, boom, you guys listening, if you guys can contribute, contribute. Um, it's just about the things that are relevant, really. So if we can talk about it, even if we don't know everything about it, that's what's, what's, the, that's what's important. And Definitely. Engage. Join a discussion. Yeah, man. And spark an interest for someone else. So, without further ado. Is that the word, ado? Ado, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it right, fam. Oh, say no. Nah. Get your presenting on right now, oh, fam. I'm, what nah, you I'm mean? Back, you know. Getting the words and that. Yeah, from I got a fresh trim, it like brings... Oh, you know what I did do, though? What's that? Go on GFM, radio. Oh, yeah, radio. Flex. Yeah, so yeah, I did yeah. do... That is one thing I did do. Like, me and Heat. After what I think it's about two years, yeah, since we done. So the first show. of all, explain why you guys went back. What was that about? So it's the twenty year anniversary. Gloucestershire FM, yeah, yeah, Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire FM. Yeah. Obviously, me and he had a show for nearly ten years, or I was on there for nearly ten years. He joined me about two years after. Yeah. So obviously, we came off two thousand and eight, eighteen, I think. Um. So yeah, we just asked to come back on. Yeah. Just to celebrate the 20 year anniversary. That's sick. What, just like one off? Yeah, yeah. So it's just a one off. Right. Shout out to GFM, man. Yeah, shout out to Heat. Staple, staple in the community, you know. Trust GFM's me. been there you know for what? years. That's you know? someone. We need to bring someone from GFM. Yeah, we just need to get. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, bring right. them in, whether it's like the chairman or whether it's the manager or even whether it's just a presenter that's been on there for these 20 yeah. years. That's, I'm sure certain man have been on there for the yeah. whole 20 years. Facts. Old type man like John Musto. I'm sure yeah, he's, facts. he's the first man to bring me on GFM, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. Swear I died. Is that right? Yeah. Did you play your tunes as well? When I won the competition, like, what, what are we talking? 2006. <laughs> yeah. Competition he, days, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He brought me in and we did like a little interview. <laughs> you know, like, the so old type you in it every time because you first brought me in and then old type Via Richards. Yeah, Via. 
I went in for Love him to death. Shout out to him. Um what did I go in for? I think like you can get a show where you go in and you play your music. Yeah. Like so someone hosts it for you and then you go through your music. And okay, I did that. Okay. And then Via pulled me to a side and was like, Have you ever thought about doing your own show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, nah. <laughs> that combo, but, yeah. Like, me? That combo, yeah. I said, nah. I said, for one, I'm not a DJ. Yeah. For two, I'm a rapper, B. <laughs> like, I ain't got no what am I going in front of a microphone and saying if yeah. I'm not rapping? He said, I think you should consider it. Yeah. I said, all right, I could see you know what? Some of the, 10 some years of the, later. Talk about this, just on a random one. The, the, some of the best and biggest um, radio presenters are used to be rappers. Yeah. Charlie Sloth. Charlie Sloth, yeah. One of them. Ludacris in America. Okay, Joe Budden. Joe Budden, or, yeah. I guess he's doing... Media and I. Whatever he's doing. Um, Even, um, what's the name on um, One Extra? Uh, not Sims. Dot, uh, Dotty, Dotty, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dot. She's um, Apple Music now, I think. Oh, she's Apple Music. Yeah, I remember so she Paris was a rapper. Bear, man. Bear, bear, bear. It's good. Look at Target. Target's like a proper staple BBC presenter, even though he wasn't a rapper, but he was a DJ. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we yeah, man. digress. As now, we do you know what? Do. That just brought me up. That just brought me to remember to remember. Let's something. go. Uh, what's it? It's what I did last, not what I did last week, but shout out to BBC Radio, Show, BBC Radio Gloucestershire. Okay, yes. Um, shout out to Kafson. He's my partner in crime for Two Black Minds. Um, they played a snippet of our one of our podcasts in episode two. On their show, um, so that's cool for them, isn't it? So what a little are you, bit of reach night and that. So what are you saying? There's is there opportunity there to expand? Let's just say man's talking. Isn't it? I like that. You heard it here first. <laughs> Let me not gas it up. It's not nah, even that serious. Nah, we're breaking it exclusive. You heard it here. <laughs> no, let me Kapsan not gas and Deem, last name Henry, have signed an official contract <laughs> with BBC Radio Gloucestershire to funny. showcase their podcast. First of all, that is hilarious. Congratulations. Nah, don't gas it. I'm not spending you. You I'm heard not even it right here nah. today. <laughs> that, that. Broken generation. We've just fixed one part of that. First of all, that, is, that would be <laughs> shout out to BBC and it. Let's have our talks, let's have our conversation. It's not that deep, though. It's, a, <laughs> it's definitely not that deep. I wish it was, deep, though. Man, I wish it was, it, man. Was You know deep. what you have to say? Sometimes you have to exactly. talk it into existence. Facts. It's coming. Facts. It's coming. I believe it. I believe. Me too, man. And from what I listen to it, you're at that level, man. Nah, I appreciate that, man. I know you're a little bit more, more conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bit more serious in that. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, man. And obviously, people, if you haven't checked that out, where can they check it out? Yeah, Two Black Minds on all digital platforms. Um... Amazon Music, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Tunes, Apple Podcasts, all that stuff. Nice. And as usual, we'll put yeah, the man. link in the description. All or that and all that. Listen to this first and then yeah. listen to that. If you've got or time in it, if you've got time in it. Either or. Listen, listen one of them and then listen to the other one. Yeah, it's all love. It's After all love. You. So let's start. What we're saying, first topic, first discussion. We're going deep first or we're going to go light? Always go deep first. All right, let's... Do- Whoa there. Whoa there, brother. What are we talking about topics for today, yeah? Ah, that's some of my drinks, <laughs> right, brother. You do you, innit? <laughs> Catch you off guard <laughs> certain <laughs> times, yeah? Right, boom. These MPs. Oh. So we, we talk about Richard Graham quite a bit. Oh, yeah. So shout out to Richard Graham. You know, we did... Every time. We sent an invite out to him and his peoples. Sent officially email, as well. Officially, yep. They didn't respond. Not even a reply. Not even a, not sorry, even a reco- we can't. Exactly. Not even like a recognition. None of that. Or recognition that they received the email. None of that. None of that. Okay. So shout out to you, Richard Graham. Um, clearly you care about your constituents. Is Obviously. that the right word? Constituents? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That Sounds and that. To me. Anyway, in the news, uh, MPs have been talking about, or actually did a vote for um, free school meals. Not just free school meals, but be providing meals to kids um, who need it throughout and whether you're in schools or out of schools, whether it's term times or out of term times. And there was a debate, there was a vote in, and what was the result of the votes? Do you know? Unanimously, no. Yeah. No, was it? I, you know what? I did see the numbers, but I can't even, yeah, yeah. off the top of my head, I'll be lying if I even knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know it was like a landslide. Of yeah. Them. So that's, that's them saying, so let's, let's get into the little bit of nitty gritty in detail. So they're saying that, Funding specifically school children who, whether they their parents can afford, can't afford, whatever it is, no charge to go hungry. In my my perspective, they're yeah. saying we are not going to fund it at a national level. So, what's your thoughts on that? Do you know what my thoughts are? Probably not for this. Okay, yeah, no, no. You know what I mean? This is doing nah, that. this is it's not. It's not. No, I hear what you're saying. It's not because of my face and my you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not in it. 
But no, I think it's disgusting. Like, I don't even think it's something that is even debatable. Okay. Like, I think it's disgusting. Like, you're talking, like, the vote for families yeah. that probably make 10% or maybe 20% of their yearly wage that they make, yeah. they make that to support a family and they're saying they don't believe that they should support them families. So let's go into little, let's go into a little bit of details because yeah. my initial response was, ratted, what are going with this? Yeah. Like, disgust. And I think that's the, my emotional response. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Um, but if we think about it, like, cognitively, in our sen- brains, does it make sense for the national government to fund the students, oh, it's not students, sorry, the, the kids up and down the country? Like, there's some technicalities to it, that which yeah. we, may, we not, may not be privy to, so I may be ignorant yeah, in that regard. Yeah, definitely. So, um, our, local, our local MP um, put up a post on his I think it was Facebook I saw it yeah uh, don't even ask me why am I following this guy because you know <laughs> you follow he's, that he's, guy, clearly, he's clearly not following us he clearly don't care about me <laughs> but dude he's not following him yeah. <laughs> um, and he said about how he's, he's okay with it being supported locally yeah. and each local council should support the kids in the schools and be in communication with the schools and therefore um, yeah. being able to feed every child but at a national level there shouldn't be a, the budget nationally shouldn't be affected by that so Emotionally, they said no to it. But if you, if you think about it, what they're actually saying is no to it being funded at a national level, but yes to it being a local responsibility to the local councils. Richard Graham here locally has said, yes, as long as we're in communication with the schools, he said that no schools um, contacted him. But if we're in communication with the schools, we'll be able to get the information, the names, the locations of the children that are in, uh, usually have school meals and we yeah. can provide them with um, tickets, vouchers, all that, all that sort of good stuff. Okay, so while in principle I agree to that, yeah, there's not like not every area is as blessed as we are, yeah, hundred percent as Gloucester or Gloucestershire. Now, obviously, we've got parts of our area that is more deprived than others, yep. But like throughout the UK or throughout England, yeah. we're probably seen as a well-off yeah. area yeah, because we've got the Cotswolds. Because but there is like especially up north. Like up north, they're in serious poverty. Yeah, hundred percent. So whereas we might be able to support it down here, locally, and everyone's putting money in. Like my football team donated money towards it. People have been able to. Um, up north, they may not be able to, or yeah. in certain areas in London, like but, they're not going to be able to support yeah. that. So I, I do believe it's a national. It should be a national budget. Yeah. It should come from the national politicians. Or however it's seen, however it's split up, that basically. So in my, in my opinion, this is why politics is so techy. Yeah, yeah, it is though. It, politics is so techy because if you think about it, children are, have been fed. Yeah, and will continue to be fed, whether the government say yes to it or no to it. Yeah, what I mean course. by that is, <clears throat> you hear a, a national outrage to, oh, the government are not funding these children who need food, so I'm gonna fund it. So yeah. I've got. I know somebody who's just started a local um, food business and he's saying, look, any child that orders through us or any parent has children that orders through us, their child, whatever they order, they will get for free. The children will get for free. Um, So that's your people. Someone you you know. Yeah, yeah. Someone someone I work with. Someone I work with who started a a food organization. So large them up, man. No, I'm not going to large it up because tutus, I've not tried the food yet. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, They should should be able to get large them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And tutus, I don't know the official name of the business. I know the guy's name. He's like, I just gas him. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Leave it there. But nationally, there are other people that are doing that. So there might yeah. be churches, there might be schools that are making it in their budget, even though they're not officially having the budget for it. There may be other meals, um, Pizza Hut, McDonald's. I heard McDonald's did like yeah, a crazy yeah, thing. Some stuff. So even though nationally the, nation- the MPs have said, no, we're not going to do it. There are other ways in which those things can be filled. And it kind of gives us a, to the larger question. Dean's getting deep, man. <laughs> no, but it's good. It's, I like about the way we deep. get here. All right, so let, let, me, let me just confirm with this. It's like, this goes into the bigger issue or bigger question of what should we be doing how should we view our leaders? Yeah. Because should we be having our hands out begging for the leaders, or the MPs, the local government, the national government to support us and help us? Or should we be funding for ourselves or doing community funding? So since we know our community, should we be funding one another rather than um, begging for these 
majority white people who are over 50 to care about us? That's kind of the bigger question, but you know. No, and, that's, and I think that is the biggest question, but when we're, yeah. wherever we are, paying towards this government yeah. through our taxes, Facts. through VAT, through whatever Facts. else, we're, yes, they should Facts. be. Okay, cool. I won't pay national tax. I'll just pay it to my local community. I know it is split out differently like that. And obviously they give you where it goes within your community. Yeah. But cool. I'm not paying national insurance. Why am I paying national insurance? Yeah, that's like, why am I paying into their budget if then they're saying my budget comes from my local? So it, ear to ear, how techy it gets again. So you've got the national insurance. And again, I... Forgive me for my ignorance. No, I don't know. I'm just chucking it out now. I'm, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no. chucking stuff out now. I'm, <laughs> Throw it, brother. I'm vexed. I'm whatever lands, whatever, whatever lands. Whatever, <laughs> whatever people take and run with, they run with. This so, is, but, you're serious on this. I'm vexed. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little serious in the sense that I think there's something deeper that yeah. we may not be privy to. Definitely. So again, I don't know how the national insurance started, but I'm assuming World War II, I, yeah. we needed to... To all me, the, all the money that was spent is something to do with military and I don't know what Mil- it is. Yeah. And that's how it comes across. That's that's how that's my impression of it as well. The the, the downfall that we had for World War One, World War Two, um, therefore the needing to build up the countries, blah blah blah. All of these external countries that should be brought in, blah 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 blah. Yeah. So that's where the national insurance. We have money for national insurance, which comes out of me. They just take it without us even yeah, asking. It's gone. We've got all of the VAT that we do. We've got all of the taxing that we, all of these big businesses are sending. So they need to be just. They need to justify their spending. Yeah. And they do justify it when they say, "Look, COVID's happened." We're giving all small businesses um, a minimum or a maximum of 10 grand loans for any business that contacts yep. us that are in need, furlough, we're securing everyone's pay, blah, blah, blah. So as much as I think that is a silly move for them to say, I think they should have, the response shouldn't be no to school meals. They should have a more detailed response. But they do do something with our money. Yeah. No, what, yeah, what, I'm, what, not, I'm what not also saying that they don't. No, but that's, 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 that's the response. Not yeah. from you, but that's the emotional response. What much? You're not going to get feed these kids that need yeah. money, that need food. Right, you guys are blah, 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 middle finger to them and all that. Even though I'm all for burning the government, fam. <laughs> Babylon, it, the Babylon, the system. Babylon system needs to come down, yeah. This is all one Babylon that. system, you know. What you <laughs> No like? facts. The but, but are, you, I just, are you running? <laughs> I'm not. Are you running I'm, for Parliament? I'm, I'm prepared. I'm preparing. I'm preparing. I might. Because if you do, <laughs> I'll support you still. But <laughs> the second I, I don't believe listen. in your thing, you're getting bun out like everyone else. <laughs> yeah. On the same podcast, yeah, yeah. yeah with me on. <laughs> Shout out to Trump Minister, innit? Nah, I, I, who knows where my life is going, innit? But, um, I said that to say this, that we should, there's a deeper understanding or deeper learning to, that goes on to these kind of um, things that they do, especially in the council. That being said, them rotted people haven't invited <laughs> me to go play their wives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But you know what the worst thing is though? Like, I hear what you're saying, yeah. but, and I guess we're only fed the news we're fed. Like yeah. you said, there's deeper. But then we're being told MPs get what? How much Faison's food allowance? Yeah, so I was told they get twenty five pound a day, a day for on meal allowance. eighty grand yeah. a year. Crazy, and they get twenty five pound allowance a day. Crazy, like how how can they justify that? Regardless if they're in London and we're talking about kids in Liverpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. or they're in Liverpool and we're talking about kids in Scunthorpe yeah. or wherever, how can they justify that twenty five pound allowance when me and you work yeah. get? Yeah. Not even half that. Nowhere near. Well, I don't know. I'll talk for myself. Facts. I don't know about you. No, facts. But I pay for my food. Yeah, facts. And, and, and I can't claim that back. And not just that. The amount of things that they can claim back. Yeah, plus Their second they homes, their, their, their... Swimming pool cleaning. cleaning. Yeah, all of that madness. So their suits. A... And their suits don't even fit. Yeah. They're not even well-fitting <laughs> suits. They look a mess. A <laughs> ratted haircuts that look ridiculous. Go to the yard, man, and get a trim, man. What Morris, on with Morris them? needs to go down Brixton. Brixton needs yeah. a lot, fam. No, I used to go down he there and go link up one of them, one of them man them. One of them barbers. And get a proper trim. Maybe and a little bro cream or yeah. something in his hair. <laughs> he needs something. But see, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's my problem. That's some yard food anyway. Go on. That's, all I, that's my problem. And maybe it is a problem that I've come to from the media. Yeah. But this is, this is another question for us. Even though we're still talking about the topic of um, meals for children yeah. or and, and the privilege and that. Where do we get our news from? Like, where do we get our information? We get it from the BBC News. We get it from Sky News. We get it from these organizations that may not be for us. They may be so far removed from us. No, they are. Like, this is this is where I think the, the benefit of having this podcast is for, especially for people that are in Gloucester, is that you hear it from people that are like you. In, yeah? in, in and Gloucester, around the community. Yeah. Living that it. 
generally either care about the city or are living in the city, so we have some attachments. Whereas these MPs, they may have homes in the city that they're the MP of, but they probably got second homes, third, yeah, third yeah. homes, and they're probably living most of the time either in London, in Parliament, or they're not even in Parliament most of the time. So They're not local, local. Yeah, facts. Is even the local MPs local? I think it's from like South Africa. Is it? Yeah, I'm sorry, I swear he's... Because this is, this is... Shout out to Richard Graham, man. You're not going to come on here, but <laughs> when a right people need to tell him, <laughs> innit? His big plan is that, yo, I was, I was in, I think even some part in Africa, maybe he's in Nigeria or blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. He was some part of Africa with all these years. Oh, that's, so, that, that's how we connect with That's us. how we're supposed to connect with us. That's how we connect with us people. Yeah, that facts. look like us. Even though he doesn't come to the BLM marches or nothing. He, do you know where the, did he ever? Did he ever, did he come to any of them? He even come to none of them. And his yard, if you stand in Gloucester Park, you, you can almost see his house. It's in walking distance. But is that his house though? Or is that? Well, I don't know, man. Is that just where they say his heist? Yeah, that's and correct. And then he's got that's, one big ice. Yeah, thing, facts. Like facts. the Fire or something. That's a fact. But anyway, Richard Graham, shout out to you, innit? One day, we'll get a response. One day, fam. If we don't make, if we make enough noise and the people at home make enough noise, tag him and all that. Yeah, tag him, send him. I seen um, he writ on Twitter or whatever it was. He's disappointed with the amount of negative response yeah. he's got from his... No vote, which I think you broke it down. You said obviously he believes in a local one, doesn't believe in a national. So it's fair again, enough. Again, again, these are things that he said. Yeah. Whether he really believes it in his heart, in his heart he may not care a damn thing about anybody. Yes. Yeah, no, it's true. But on the it's surface, true. he's at least trying to say the right things. That it. That's why he needs to come here. Facts, man. I like put, you, can, yo. you can go on BBC and do their interviews, and it's all professional and all. Yeah, they've, they've gone through university. He's come here with slight facts. You know, man, man got facts. Afro comb in his yeah, hair. Yeah, brother. <laughs> with his like so boom. No one gives him a hard time. No one actually no. gives him but real no one questions. Gives any, well, actually, you know what? There is like There's what's that brother? What's is it Andrew Ma? Yeah, Andrew Ma. Yeah, yeah, I think so. yeah, yeah, he yeah. cusses people yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah. He, he goes through all tight him and it. <laughs> he cusses people yeah. dying on his show. Yeah, shout out to and that. And even my guy Piers. Piers Morgan. Yeah, he, I know. I know he's very. Take him or leave him. Yeah, he's marmite, and he's marmite. But yeah. he still cusses people dying. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him cuss dying some people, but I think he's got an ulterior motive. Facts. Whatever that is, he's that's got his, one. Um, that's his brand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and now, yeah, that's, that's his, his thing. He's gonna do that every single time. But so let's wrap it up. Let's. So these free school meals, man. What are you saying? Is it the government's responsibility, or is it the responsibility of the community and the local council? In my in my point of view, I think it's the responsibility of every human being to be a better human being to other people. So, um, the good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am. You know what I was gonna say? I'm not even gonna comment nothing past that because that's a proper response. No, what I mean is, what I mean is, if we truly care about one another, yeah. If someone's in need, you'll just help them, innit? Yeah. And you know what I think has I, been good? I've go seen on. people like write on social media. If you or someone else experiencing difficulties, contact over, me. Contact inbox me. me. Yeah, inbox me. Teachers, like, that's probably fake, isn't it? That's yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, that's probably just as fake as these ratted MPs. You know, people, to be you honest. know, every time someone, oh, sorry, I've, I've hit my quota for today. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold tight, you if you've done it, because, you know, it needs. It's true. Like you said, everyone needs to yeah. look out for everyone. This is the same, the same way. And this is. I feel like I'm, I'm raising my voice or I'm shouting in it. So, boom. I know. But let me just be honest. Let me just talk radio about this. Gonna and radio, I mean, the volume is going to spike. If every single person cared about themselves, their families, their communities, we would do better. But the, the, what the MP's decision is, is a reflection of how we do not care about one another or they do not care about us. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if we care about ourselves, then we can sort this out. But these MPs, like, if anyone that has trust and faith in a political system, like, I don't know what you're doing, fam. But some people, and we probably need someone to respond and say, yes, yeah. I do, and because of. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's going to say it with chest. Or anyone that watches this. Yeah. But that's probably not our And this is, this is this is high. Even though I know, we, we sound like we're digressing, but we're not. It's so on point. Yeah. If somebody like us, and I'm not making a... <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the guy, yeah, because I'm not the guy. But if someone like us, yeah. like, made enough noise and garnered people that look like us, we could we could run Richard Graham out of this out of, the, out of, out of his office. Yeah, like the next local election, we could beat him easily. There's yeah. enough people that look like me and you, but most of us don't vote. No, or most probably. of us just vote Labour because you know that's what our parents vote. Don't blah blah blah. Votes, yeah. Or most of us don't vote. But if if people that look like me and you actually made a serious like for the next two years, I don't even know when the next one is. But in the next 12 two to 24 months made a 
a conscious decision to impact our city, looking like us and talking how we talk, I think a drill minister from Gloucester would be kind of sick still. If you're out there, and I'm yeah. touching these topics. If for you're real. out there and you're thinking that's your route, please get in contact yeah, with man. us. Yeah, man. And we'll bring you on and we'll talk to you. And there must, be, there must be like some young, hundred percent aspiring politicians, politician out yeah. there. That's thinking, you know what? There's no space for me Facts. in the government at the moment. Yeah. And we're pushed that. And they might have the wisdom, but they just need, they just need a bit of, bit of road convo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a little just, twang, innit? Yeah, just, just sit in the middle, innit? And just chit-chat. Because how many of these do you think Richard Graham done? None. Richard Graham's running from us. He runs from everybody. He's a... Anyway, I'm going to want to talk him too much. <laughs> I'm going to want to talk him too much. Anyway, I, I, uh, you got your bike back yet, Rich? And you wonder why this brother don't want to come on the show, you know? Yeah, you serious, isn't it? Go on. Ah, right. I think we wrapped that one up nicely. Kept that one moving. Obviously, we've been off for a week, so we've got a lot to say. Yeah, I think that one was a... That one was a deep one, but I think I kind of disconnected because my emotions get the best of me. It happens, man. I it think, happens. You know, I, I, never, I didn't look at it, like, structurally or... How did you, how did you describe it? I didn't look at it. Just politically. Just, yeah, just I didn't a, look at it like that. I just look at it as these people got a lot of money. Some people don't. Yeah. That's the way I see it. Yeah. This one we're going to go into. Um, like I said, we spoke. I don't feel like I know as near enough about it. But obviously, I always give my opinion and what I feel. is going to be more about what I feel than what I know. Yeah. So if you want to introduce this topic and give a little background yeah. on what's going on. So we're going from local and national to now we're going to world news. Yeah, let's go global, man. <clears throat> so, um, <laughs> do you know what I was just thinking? Oh. Have you pressed record? <laughs> the audio, did I? Yeah, 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 cool. All right, global news and the global news. Nigeria. Yes. So back in the day. I don't know how I don't know why I was gonna introduce it like this, yeah. yeah. But back in the day, as a kid, obviously being from Car the Caribbean Islands, mm -hmm. the biggest diss that anyone could say was to call me an African, innit? Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? It's so like I'd be so emotionally like scarred from that. Yeah. But moving forward, innit? Like I'm so proud to to have that heritage, innit? Yeah, share that heritage. So boom, in Nigeria, um, as of recent, at least in the last two weeks on um social media, depending on who you follow, you may hear of it local news, national news, BBC News, all that stuff, talks about how um, this, there's this movement called the NSARS, called NSARS. Yeah. Now, when we hear SARS, you think of, like, the disease. So I thought it was the disease. I, you know what I did? So I went for a few days thinking the exact same that's, thing. That's, the, that's our ignorance, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's probably the ignorance shared by a lot of people Facts. until you click the link or watch a video. Yeah. And I think most of it is because it's because it's I'm naturally disconnected. Yeah. Like, I have no... Apart from Kafson, who I believe is not from is not from Nigeria, I haven't spoke to him this week. I'm speaking to him tomorrow. Um, I have no one who I don't follow anyone online, social media. That's Nigerian. Yeah. Like, there's no Nigerian media that I follow, so there's no way I would know to have a direct connection to it. Yeah, of course. But anyway, um, NSARS is this movement in Nigeria. Um, well, globally now, um, there was a, a gov kind of like a sect of the police or government system set up specifically to stop. Um, crime okay Specific, specifically uh, theft robbery and things of that nature yeah um, and the SARS actually stands for the special anti-robbery squad okay so shout out to them um, you notice that 60% of the Nigerian population is under 24 years old is it 60% for real yeah that's that's what Why? that's what BBB, that's what BBC News okay, is telling yeah, okay okay so it signs, it's, yeah, it's, I'm not questioning it's you bro <laughs> I'm not questioning you. I I'm didn't count them myself. I'm surprised, isn't it? I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah. No, um, so this is why the, the NSARS is such a young movement. Oh, okay. this, is what I'm hear that's what, this is what I'm hearing. It's that it's on social media because most of the young people who are being affected by are young and therefore um, have social media. Yeah. So this is why this is trending. Um, going forward more, the reason why SARS started is because there was a lot of robbery. There was a lot of... Um, what do you call robbery when it's like bank cards, credit cards... Fraud. fraud, holy per fraud happening. Um, so the government said we need to create something that's specifically doing this. This group of people that's going to focus on like these, these young criminals, exactly. Okay. Um, and because of the young people, 
theft, blah, 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 is something that's generally attached to young people. They, the SARS were affecting them. Same way in the UK, the police stop and search us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly black people for no reason. Um, the same way what they're doing in, in Nigeria. They were the SARS, police were stopping people, abusing them. Um, there's, there's a kinds of rape, murder, so, killing, all right, that sort yeah. of things happening from these SARS people. Because I'm confused. Yeah. So the SARS are the task force. Correct. Okay. And their task to stop theft, robbery, fraud. Yeah. Initially, that's they're what... They're abusing... Their power. Okay, right. Makes sense? I'm, I, I'm back now, I'm back. So I'm back. they've been given power by the, the government um, and then they've been abused, abusing that power. Okay. Or individuals from that from the SARS have yes, been abusing yes, yes. that power. Um, the Nigerian uh, Prime Minister has uh, has told him a number of times to stop or he said to, for them to halt, but they've come back and resurf- resurfaced. I think now that they've stopped SARS completely, yeah. but they've not, the people that were in the SARS, they've disbanded them to other police departments okay. and okay. government departments so they're still carrying on their quote-unquote SARS behavior yeah. of stopping people um steal like there's a kind and, of uh, what and they're doing it under the SARS ban like yeah. ban or they're doing it under neither new what well, local policing team yeah so initially they were doing the SARS now quote-unquote since it's been disbanded they're still doing it they're still wielding this power this authority okay. I've got okay. a badge listen to me stop I want to search your I want to look for your phone. Oh, let me go for your Instagram. Oh, you've got all these like Gucci, Louis. How are you getting right, this money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. let me look into your bank account. Let me see you in your bank account. Take your card, go into the wall, go, go get it. Blah, blah, blah. You've got a thousand pounds. Draw right, a hundred pounds. All right, I'm going to take a hundred pounds. You know, I've got yeah, that power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that foolishness is happening. Um, some prominent people have, I say prominent, some young people have died, been shot, killed, uh, murdered, and it's hitting the news and people are just trying to garner as much um, support globally to end SARS and end that kind of brutality that's happening in those countries. Okay. Okay. That was a wrap up, you know. That was a quick wrap up. taught me more than I've known from seeing everything online. Oh yeah? So shout out to you still. Well, that's all power to God, isn't it? (laughs) What's wrong with you? Are you you feeling you're calling back? No, I'm not because I'm not. I'm just saying, if you are, you are. I've been quoting God and the Bible quite often recently. Yeah, if you're feeling you're calling, then I support that one. Inshallah, that's not going to be me, innit? I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> but no, I think you wrapped it up very... And I think a lot of people that are watching this, I've seen, like myself included, I've seen like the hashtag Stop SARS. I've seen like, I've seen a few videos and I'm thinking, yeah. like, I didn't look into it. I skipped across it. And maybe that's my ignorance again, like I said. But, um, and I'm like, I don't understand, like, why are people being beat and what? Yeah. Like, I've seen one brother being turned, like, he's being cooked. Like, these things are mad. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, the facts. fire's on the floor. And, and I'm thinking, who are these people? Like, I thought they were a terrorist group, if I was yeah. honest. Yeah. It's, it seems like they're exhibiting terror anyway. Yeah. So whether they are a officially here to terrorise people, they're terrorising people. Do you know what I mean? Whether well, I they, didn't realise yeah. it was set up by the government. Yeah. But you've got to think about this. This, in the UK, this, so this is how we make our connection. So here in the UK, for years and years, even if we go back 20, 30, 40 years, when my... My parents were growing up. Like the police here who were given authority yeah. were harassing us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Does that make sense? So it's the same kind of connection. A police force or people with authority have been oppressing the people in Nigeria. The same thing's been happening here and happens globally throughout the world, throughout mm-hmm. history. Um, so yeah, that's just something about NSARS. That's crazy. So let me see how I understand this. So the people that they are, so n- in no way, Am I saying that it's okay? Ne- like, Never. whatever I say next, this is not where me saying I'm yeah, condoning yeah. it. So the people that they are, like, abusing, not abusing, but the people that they are using their power to, are these criminals or are they everyday people? Everyday people. Mixed with? No, everyday people. So it's just any person. The same, like, a stop and search, maybe directed at me and you. Yeah. So, so this, is, this, is the, this is what we're getting from the news. Okay. Again, I'm, I have a slight disparity because I'm not, I don't have Nigerians around me and this, that, and the other, but... Even if, like, even a broken clock is right two times a day, they say that. Watch you know? this. Oh, so I mean, <laughs> all right with your knowledge. Big man, big man. Listen, say listen no more. So even a broken clock is, I'd say, again, isn't it? Not 24 hours, but yeah. <laughs> bars and it, bars and that. Um, so even if they, they did um, arrest and criminalise and send to prison 10% of the people they stopped. Yeah. 
the rest of them, the 90% that they, they stopped and didn't were not criminals, they still treated horrendous as if they were criminals. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, just, it's disgusting behaviour. Yeah, yeah facts. Disgusting. And I think it's something that everyone needs to research their self yeah. and form their own opinion. I think everyone's opinion is going to be shared. Yeah. But I think everyone needs to research, including myself, yeah. and form my opinion. Mm. I'm interested on what is the bigger picture being taught to us. Like, I'm interested in why is... Bro, I just feel like I'm getting deep in it. Yeah, but and why not? Why not? So you know, we've been gone a week, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about right, time right. we give them a little something. <laughs> give them something, yeah. Um, like, why, why, is the, why does the news tell us this information about Nigeria? Why does the news tell us this, even though NSARS is huge, why is, there, why is the news always on? Alter- why why is there always news every day? Motive? I don't know, man. What does it do to the psyche of a black person? And you know what? No, and I agree. You never, or you rarely see a massive positive movement. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure there's millions across yeah, Africa. Facts, facts. But it never gets traction. Like, never, never, yeah, never. like, never you see that, that young, what, that young guy, what did he make? Um, like, he made some, something like a telephone tower. Oh, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. like, I have like a car yeah, battery yeah, yeah. And, and tires and like, and although you might see that, like it never gets that kind of attention, yeah. but something negative always seems to get that. Yeah. And I know bad news sells news or yeah, negative yeah. news sells news. And unfortunately, people click more on the negative than yeah. they do the positive. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that we shouldn't know here in England, specifically Gloucester, about what's happening in Nigeria, yeah. in Africa. But why do we know? Yeah. Does that make sense? No, like, I know. Why, why, like, if there's so much, because there's so much negativity in the world, yeah. and the news is going to be on today, it's going to be on tomorrow, and every day for the rest of our lives. There's always negative stuff out yeah. there. Why are we not being fed positive stuff? Or why do we care to know about but the, we know, the news? We know this yeah. because Lewis Hamilton, yeah. because the footballers, yeah. because like real A celebrities. celebrities yeah. Like people that are in the news yeah. regularly are promoting it. Yeah, facts. And I think that's the reason we know about this night. I think if it wasn't picked up by celebrities, and, and it's such a terrible way that we live that it needs a celebrity, a celebrity to jump on your bandwagon. Need a cosign, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, whether that's negative or positive yeah. for us to then, or not even take us, it seriously, you know what, it's not us, it's the media. For yeah, then facts. the media to take that on yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. me and you probably know about movements, about things that we've looked, and um, we think that's amazing, but it's never been picked up. Yeah, facts. Because there's not a celebrity or there's not someone of power that's yeah. picked it up. And yeah. I feel like that's the reason we know about this, because it's resonated with Lewis Hamilton, with other celebrities. And the media yeah. have to take notice yeah. when someone as big as that and to, and to be honest it, it. it's a good news this is what I'm hearing it's a good news for Nigeria yeah. that we're making noise for it good. because like like other countries I'm guessing but Nigeria as a country would hate the bad press yeah yeah. so course. it's because of all of these bad press like if I don't know if Beyonce has ever gone to Nigeria mm. to do any concerts but worldwide concerts but if like all of the artists from globally even the artists from Nigeria if people were saying oh we're not going to do concerts there look at the state of Nigeria blah 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 saying all these negative things then the polit- politicians in Nigeria have to do something about yeah, it definitely. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's a good thing that we're making noise, but I'm just I'm also conscious of what does this do to the like our our psyche or people's minds when they're he- hearing all this negativity all the time, especially in a COVID world because we're already yeah. negative about everything. Trust already. Me. And I think you touched on it straight away. I'm from the Caribbean. Yeah. Uh, growing up, Africa was the oh, you got yeah. like it's a bit, and things like this put that back into young people's minds. Yeah. So I think we're older now and I think we're a lot more mature and a lot more acceptance of our culture and understand a lot more there may be people our age in our generation may still have that same well I'm not Africa you might not what do I look like an African like people still have that whereas I think these kind of things these negative like images that we see and I putting that stigma back in and like you said there is a positive behind it but there's also a negative behind it because now like for a young person that may have just heard that if someone says, yo, I'm from Nigeria, they're going to be like, oh, what? That's where they kill, what? That's where people kill their own people yeah, and yeah, yeah. this is happening and that's, that's where you're from yeah, yeah. and that might be all they know about Nigeria. They don't know about the, positive the positives. They just yeah. know about the negatives. And the fact is, like, Nigeria, 
like the pictures I've seen of Nigeria. Nigeria is just is beautiful, you know. Yeah. It's just, in some parts of Nigeria, it's just like Paris, just like London, and just as forward as any other country in yeah, the world. Definitely. Even though some people still think there's flies on bellies and this that. This and the is other. what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? But, but when know. do you ever see? When do you ever see Africa in the news? When only negative stuff. First aid. At first aid. I mean that aid thing. What's the aid thing called again? With Pugsy Bear and that. Oh, that's children, children in need. Need. Yeah, 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 they got an aid one as well, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they have. Like that's when you see it. That's when you see Africa. Yeah, yeah. Is when they're begging for money. They're when, asking for water. Fam. That's when you see Africa. Cheat code. The only time you see real dark black kids from Africa is when the white man wants us to give money to them, but they're keeping it in their own pocket to give to the people. That the charities. Get there. It's fake charities. The amount of charities that are anyway. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. But do you know what? Do you know the amount? I don't have the. I could look Figures, at it. Yeah, yeah. The amount of money they've earned Facts. or they've raised over what we saying? When was the first? We're talking seventies. Yeah, yeah. Forty years. Every Maybe year, they've, and they're raising what? 20, 30 million. Every every year. Every year. Yeah, facts. And you're still telling me that after that, what has the, what has been the actual impact? Yeah, they don't of have these ratted charities. Water. Yeah. When Akon's out here trying to build a whole city for a himself, whole city. Kanye's out here trying to build a whole city for himself. What's going on? What's and going these, on here? And these man, oh, they they've got access to a lot of money. They probably haven't got access to the kind of millions no. that's been seen over the past forty no. years. No. But yeah, they're still begging money to this day. Yeah. And what going with Grenfell? All that money. Oh, anyway, let's not, let's not, let's not even. Not we've been there. Let's not do that. We've been there. <laughs> we have. We have. But you know what? On a positive note, yeah. I have seen like a lot of these GoFundMe's where communities are getting together and helping like local people. So I saw one guy that wanted to be an airline pilot. Oh, sick! And over COVID, obviously, he lost his apprenticeship. Money was raised for him. Yeah. There was a next guy in Manchester that had a food truck. truck. Yeah, I saw yeah. that one. Yeah, and yeah. obviously it got burnt down. Yeah. Money was... And I seen yesterday or this week sometime, he's just opened a new one. Yeah. He's sorted out all his licensing. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, them things are great. I think that's, that's so amazing. And that's the good things we hear about humanity that makes me feel proud. Yeah, like, yeah. So we're not all bad, isn't it? We're not, no, that's we're not all not negative. All there are some, some people but that are really doing some great things. that's done with two, three thousand. Yeah. We're talking in the millions... Yeah. That go to Africa. Yeah. Every single... The millions that are collected yeah. for Africa. I don't know where they're going. Yeah. And you know, the Red Cross building, yeah, is in London, off the London Bridge. See, when I went... So when I used to live in London, I used to have to go past it. Yeah. Big man, we're talking, what, 15, 16 stories high. But all of it just for Red... Red Cross. Wow. Or one of them. One of them, I'm sure, is the Red Cross. I could be wrong, and I'm not, like, discrediting the work they do, because it's amazing. But the first thing I thought was, how much millions must that cost to run? Yeah, facts. That building alone. We we're talking yeah. in the middle of London, yeah. on the London Bridge, like yeah. opposite one or the other side. Like, how much millions is that going to yeah. cost to run? Obviously, they need a base. They need to be somewhere. Yeah. But does it need to be central London, central where we London, know the rent in there rent. is millions? Yeah, facts. I may be wrong. I stand corrected every and time. And two twos, now I'm thinking about property. They probably own that building, yeah? Oh. Someone owns that building. Yeah. He's rented it to them. Yeah. So, you know these charities. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to diss charities, in it. Yeah. But there's a way no, in which charities can be set up and where mm-hmm. people can pocket money. Just saying. But, it? And obviously, somewhere down the line, that's happened. It has yeah. to have happened. Yeah, facts. Because the amount of money we put into Africa, it's not a thriving nation or a thriving yeah. continent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, we've it, no, put no, a no, lot no, money no. Into it. Let me correct you. It okay, is sorry, thriving. Sorry. It is yeah. extremely thriving. Way more than me and you and the rest of this world yeah, yeah, of in course. the West realize. Yeah, they're not going to show us on the news how amazing Africa is. The continent of Africa has more resources, has more money going in and out than most of the European countries. Yeah, okay. I'm telling you that. Even though, for example, France may have all of the all of the I think it's Nigeria. All of these Nigeria's finances have to go to a front a French, French bank. Okay, I think it's I think it's French bank. So even though we have we've got. We Europe's got the banks in these countries. Africa themselves, the, con- the countries in Africa are thriving in many ways. There are some that are not, and that's what we hear about on the news, but the news aren't going to show us the beautiful parts of Africa. And My, I'd encourage everyone that's black or even white to go anything. visit Africa. And Facts I think if you know anything or any information, share it, pull it in the links, pull it on the YouTube, give us it on the Instagram, like put the links in it. If on the Facebook, if you know of anything going on in Africa, you know of a nice... You know, feel good. Put it in there, man. Let everyone learn. 
That's the only way we're going to be able to promote yeah, it. Facts, man. Everyone learns. Let's do this, man. NSARS, NSARS, NSARS. And we went off it completely again, <laughs> didn't it? Every time we do this. Every time. But like we say, it's natural. And if anyone knows more that we don't know, again, comment below. Share the info. All that, all that, all and that. shout out to the people that have commented. Like, there's some decent, like, real comments that have been put down and yeah, people yeah. have shared some good stuff really engagement yeah that's yeah yeah so hold tight you in it every time broken generation episode six this mate dean cuomo tis ed top so what are you trying to do with that what you just growing it out no nah, no nah, just because it's this month in it i've thought it's oh, it. power i'm planning it next week in it so it's calm okay you might as well just locks in it I was thinking about the locks cuz but i'm not too sure yeah, my kids have got locks they, my kids have got both my daughters have got locks we sit I might do it, man. We'll see, we'll see. One with the naughty thing. You might need the strength still. Yeah, man, twist it. I and I might do that still. I might do that. Do you know, do you know the story behind locks? No, nah, no, nah, tell me. That it's your thoughts and your mind okay. that grow out of your head into your hair. So oh, that's that right? why they, yeah, that's why they say Rasta people shouldn't cut their, shouldn't cut their hair. Because yeah. obviously all their knowledge, their thoughts, their mind, obviously everyone's got their own interpretation. Mm. But this interpretation made sense to me. Yeah, it comes and grows through your hair. So that's where okay. your strength is. So the knowledge over the years that you've gained. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And you think, yeah, it comes Rooted. through and the strength is in your hair. Sick. Just a little information. No, that's powers there. Yeah, no, it's, no, no, it's real power. I genuinely when, when, that. when someone I told me that, that. that, like obviously a Rasta man told me that, I said, yeah. you know what? I hear that. I hear that. Because we were talking about certain man that cut their hair and that. Yeah. And he was saying that, obviously with that, he's lost his strength, his identity, <laughs> oh, yeah. his knowledge. You talk about a real person, or you talk about like Samson in the Bible. No, no, I'm talking about a real person. Okay, okay. He lost his power and his, his knowledge. That's, that's what the, no, but I'm saying that's what the Rasta man told oh, that's me. The Rasta man saying, okay. When he, when we was talking about it. So that's, that's another one that's, that's completely deep. off topic. That's deep. No, that's a good topic for him. I like yeah, it. Yeah. We need to bring a Rasta on as well, you know. <laughs> no, just not. No, I'm thinking because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about what? Just talk about Rasta in general. Like I re- you know what? Because I'm from Jamaica, I think like I I know like I know the Rasta Rastafarianism, yeah, but I don't yeah, know anything. Yeah. Nah. And Basilasi, and you know I, 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 don't I don't think, really know I don't anything. think anyone really knows the deepness of yeah. it. Yeah, like it's and I think there's different. There's practicing, and then there's people that got dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, facts. That wears the colors, isn't it? Because you know we got the like Rastas, Rastas, green, Rastas vegan. <laughs> Ital, Ital. Yeah, like yeah, proper yeah, yeah. Ital where a certain man are eating McDonald's with dreads. Yeah, it? some man are yamming the pork. Oh, no. Man can't yam pork without dreads. <laughs> so like, I, you can't. I can't, I can't dread up my hair when you have my bacon sandwich, oh, you though. you can't, man. Oh. You know what? But I think now it's more of a fashion statement than, than that. But, fam, you can't. You can't be running <laughs> Yo, around yamming. if I had dreads. Fam, you can't be running around <laughs> yamming one, bacon I, butty with fam, dreads. Let's do, now I'm talking about a social media thing. Yeah. Every Wednesday, yeah, I'm in a bacon sarnie. Oh my yeah, gosh. With dreads. Oh. That might, or I might get my hair dreadlocked oh, whilst I'm yamming yeah, in a bacon sarnie. <laughs> you even like, you know, have you seen the thing that Ash Links does? No, no, no. He like, he does this yardy thing where he's got the fake, he's got, you know, the fake hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the, and, he like, and he's like cooking up bacon and then just moving foolish. <laughs> That's how you'll be moving every Wednesday. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> Make it is a good, healthy uh, right, breakfast cool. for you. <laughs> Staple breakfast. All right, for you. <laughs> Not for Let's me, big man. Let's, Let's wrap it. Let's wrap yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to the last subject. <laughs> so following on from that last conversation, obviously the NSARS is a serious debate. Yeah, and a debate that could go on, as with a lot of our topics, for hours. And there's going to be a lot more people that's more informed than we are. So I suggest if it's something that hits home or something you want to... No more information about it. You go out, you go search that, and then maybe you could feed some back to us. Yeah, it'd be good. Um, the whole Rasta thing just come at the end. It's <laughs> yeah, not even look, something we're going to follow on from. on top, isn't it? <laughs> but um, what we are going to talk about, we're coming in the time, or we're in the season of Halloween. Halloween season, yeah? The pagan holiday. Or Hallow's Eve, yeah? Or Hallow's Eve. So do you know, do you know the reason behind Halloween? No, I don't, you know. I thought you was going to... See, usually nah, you hit me with that deep, good, good... You're like, so basically... Deep, um, I don't know either. Obviously, no. like, you hear... Or you watch films... And they say it was... When they burn witches... Like, the pagans the stake, used yeah, to burn yeah. witches at the stake... Or this was done... Or it was the night they used to... Yeah. Sacrifice people or whatever... Um, so what we want to say... Obviously, we're going to... Bring up the topic of... Do you celebrate Halloween? So, first and foremost... Are you dressing up this year, big man? Well, it depends on what day it lands on. 
If, it's, if it's a Saturday, I dress up because I usually dress up on Saturdays anyway. Innit? So what, shirt I, and tie thing? Or? Nah, nah, nah. More like stockings and red lipsticks. My and <laughs> guy, that's what I'm talking about. Let me see what day it is. Because if it is on the day that we're recording, you could come in with no, them. Joking, things. Joking, that's not my life, guys. That's not my life. It's a Saturday, big man. It's a Saturday, yeah? Is that 31st? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 31st. Okay, so there we go. You have it here first. Uh, Biarritz used to get dropped heels, today. Yeah. That life. Yeah, you that like life. to cross-dress. Well, we all have our, you know... Yeah, Secret guilty life. pleasures. <laughs> Say no more. If that's yours, that's yours, B. Nah, for sure. Mine's like eating chocolate after eight o'clock. Yeah, but... <laughs> chocolate. I'm going to eat it. So that was what you were going to talk about. But let's do it. Let's, nah. let's, carry, let's, carry on. let's carry on. Nah, jokes. All seriousness. Um, I don't necessarily celebrate Halloween. Okay. It's not something I've ever celebrated. I've never gone trick-or-treating. Um, I don't think I've ever gone trick-or-treating. So yeah, nah. I know you're lying. Have I ever gone trick-or-treating? Yeah, we went trick-or-treating. Me, you, uh, Clive... <coughs> and R.I.P. Wilcox. Oh snap! I rhymed like the, like the. I don't even know. Rhymed by you. I don't even know what that area is. A little yeah, 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 where I used to live. Yeah, 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 yeah. right in that area. Was it really? Was it really? Did nah, you knock on any doors? I think we locked on a couple. Okay. Like probably like three or four. To be honest, I can't remember being alive. But, I, yeah, yard yeah, on that yeah. Day. Right, so if it happened, I'm shocked. I'll be surprised. But I can remember. Shout out to R.I.P. Wilcox. Rest in eternal peace, my brother. Yeah. Trust me. He came to my door one day with a mask on. I don't know who he is with. <laughs> <laughs> on a Halloween, yeah. And he knocked on the door with a mask on. And I answered. And he had a water pistol. I just squirted. He squirted. <laughs> but, no, but it was like a one pint. You know yeah, what I yeah. in the shop? Like small little gun. And he's like... Chin, 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 chin. <laughs> and he's like, on my chest. And I'm just looking at him like... What are you doing? What are you doing, brother? <laughs> Oh, Old type Wilcox, Wilcox man. man, definitely, Jeez. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back onto the Halloween topic. So you're saying like you've never, nah, never. it's not something. It's not, it's not something I've ever celebrated. But two twos, I do like like scary films. Okay. So like Halloween films is like I've always watched Halloween films. Do you know so what? Do you know another memory? This is another random one for us. Yeah? <laughs> God, God, God. <laughs> so you must have had a birthday party, yeah? I can't like, remember this. What you must have been what? 15, 16? Bro, I've never... I'd, no, you, I, no, I did. You had pizza. You had pork pizza and I couldn't have none. Pepperoni thing. Where was it? It was at your yard. Okay. When you used to live in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it was like the first time I met your... I don't even know how to say it, but... What, church, church people. people yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like the first time I met them. So I think okay. it was only me one that came. Like, okay. out of that group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember like, we had pizza. Yeah. And then it was like a Freddy Krueger thing. Oh, yeah. And I remember, I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I have to go, you know, car. I have to be home. For the real reason, man did not want to sit down and watch horror film and then have to go home after. The walk home was too much, yeah? Or the ride home. I know that's a random one, but I just remembered in my head. I remember, like, making an excuse. That's hilarious. Like, so imagine I've been there for, like, half hour or an yeah, hour yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And they said, yeah, choose a film. And it was like, it was a horror film. And I remember thinking, you know what? I'm not in this because I'm going to have to watch this. Then I'm going to have to go home by myself, past the oh, resi yeah, and them yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Pierre, like, um, Pierre Bushes. The, what's it? Yeah, cemetery. Se cemetery. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, in yeah. it, big man. Okay. Not in it. And I remember sitting there thinking, I'm going to have to move off yeah. very quick. And I made up some mad excuse. <laughs> but I think, like how I'm saying it, mum weren't kids. Yeah, like, yeah, I was, was like 16, yeah. 17. <laughs> I could have got in a car and drove home. But I didn't have a car at that time. Oh, that's but that's funny. that's oh, just hilarious. obviously you may remember, you may not. But I was, <laughs> I, I always, I always yeah, yeah, remember yeah. that time. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so yeah, back to Halloween. Um, so what about you? Do you know what I? So growing up, like my dad never celebrated it. Like my yeah. dad never would. But what is there to celebrate? I don't understand. Like, no, I know, but I know, not it's, even, I know so it's a holiday. Not celebrating, but, but then partaking, some partaking kind of, in yeah, trick or treating. Yeah. Dressing up, like obviously some people put pumpkins and stuff outside yeah. their yard. Uh, some people, not in my area, but I heard that people, you knock the door, they give you things. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe that usually we go through the back and take things. Now, nah, joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, I think like as a little kid, so like five, six, seven, maybe I did that. Yeah. But I think I got to an age and my mum started to go to church. Mm. So then Halloween was a definite no. Okay. Like I remember Halloween night, they would go to church and they would have like an alternative version for all the kids. Okay. So okay. since then, I've never really celebrated it. Uh, my son doesn't celebrate it. Yeah. 
it's not something that I would promote to my daughter to celebrate, but obviously everyone's different. Yeah. So yeah. So when you say it's not something you, I get that's not something you celebrate. And it's not something you'd encourage your kids to participate in? No. And, and why is that? Why so for not? number one, I wouldn't encourage my kids to walk around the street and knock people's door for things. Like that's Facts. number And maybe that's, like people might look at me like, ah, what, you're a snob. But that's just not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't like, say And that. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not yeah. taking it from any, because there's people right now that's probably watching this, yeah. getting ready to take their kids like trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fun thing to do. Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. But for me... I just wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah, like, I wouldn't. Facts. Personally, I wouldn't walk around with my kids doing it. I wouldn't. So oh, yeah. if they wanted to go with a family member or a friend, then I wouldn't stop them. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it myself. Yeah. And that's one. I'm number two. Like I said, I've never really been in a duppy thing, one. Yeah. Like I've never really been in it. Like I'm very cautious. But is it a duppy thing though? Like everyone... Know, we've of course got Halloween this, is. No, 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 no. We've got this idea that Halloween is something about like, this is when those dark people have their like, Gather around yeah, they in, in Robins. Yeah, exactly. And... They're in Robinswood Hill in the bushes, like yeah, yeah, yeah. doing some kind of seance and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Is that a reality though? Is that I, a reality? No, it's, it's, probably, just, it's probably not. Like our imaginations take things to the next level. Yeah, yeah. It's not no, really that deep. Like because... you said, it's dying to films and it's yeah, dying to these things. It's dying to like, you watch these yeah. films, Hocus Pocus, shout out Hocus Pocus. Oh, that film classic, comes on every year. Classic. And I like that film, that their film there. Film. But it, it's dying to them kind of films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's a massive thing in America. It always yeah. seems like in America, they go all yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas here, maybe two, three heists might yeah. have like a couple of pumpkins. But over there, it seems like it is a celebration yeah. to them. And I guess like the pumpkins, the reason why it's good, if you celebrate it, is you put a pumpkin outside your house yeah. so that people know if they knock on your, if a child knocks on their door, you're going to give them sweets. You, yeah, can, you yeah. can actually, like if you come to my yard, I'm not answering the door on that day. No, I don't answer the door. The, you not even if the lights on the cars are outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's you coming might even to see the me door. look out the window. <laughs> yeah, you know that. You know that standard. I don't put the thing back and go sit back down. <laughs> so for those of you that do participate, like a pumpkin outside just makes sense for them. But boom, on on a simple level, if it's like a Halloween party, yeah, I'm I'm cool with my kids going to a Halloween party because what yeah, I, yeah. I, really a Halloween party is they dress up as princesses. Some of them, may, one or two, may dress up as a ghost or something foolish like that, but. Most of them are just dressing up and having a good time with the rest of the kids. Like, it's not deep. It's not so, deep. but then are you allowing... It's not really allowing, because like I said, it's not deep, but are you happy with your children dressing up in, like, the headless horseman <laughs> or... You know, like them, or like a ghost it's, or... It's never deep. Like, blood and that on yeah, them. Yeah. Vampires, werewolves. My, my kids are five and three and they're yeah. scared of them things so oh, they're not, okay. they're not gonna oh, want to okay. pull it on themselves anyway yeah 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 um, but if they wanted to it's calm they've both got like my eldest has got a um black panther outfit yeah my and princess and panther. wings like they dress up on a regular day so it's nothing deep okay you know what i mean and and people i know you said it but i'm not directing it at you but people out there that that's their response is oh it's pagan most people who say, oh, it's a pagan thing are pagans themselves. And I don't mean pagan. pagan. I don't mean pagan in the sense of the way that street people talk about, oh, you're a pagan, yeah, this yeah, and yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. But the but the, the dictionary <laughs> definition of a pagan, yeah. it, you are, a, like some people are pagans. They, no, don't, so they're not, they don't, they don't set, they're not, when we talk about pagans, we're talking about yeah. people who are either ancient times believing in things of religious or faith or beliefs yeah. that are not the norm. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't believe in Jesus... If you don't believe in Muhammad or a God, to some extent, you're a pagan. Yeah. If you have some kind of spiritual belief, but you don't believe in a specific named God. Yeah. Then by definition, that individual is a pagan. So are they not atheists? Then? No, atheist doesn't believe that there's a oh, God. Oh, atheist. Atheists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just find it funny because I heard, I, I saw a few times where people have said, oh, pagan, you're a pagan, this, that, and the other. <laughs> I'm just like, no, but you are a literal <laughs> dictionary definition of a pagan. Uh, if you're into the spiritual things. But anyway, it doesn't mean, it's not even deep for me. No, so it's just Halloween. It's just Halloween's Halloween whatever. Life isn't should... this deep for me, if I'm to be no, honest. No, you know what? And I hear you. Life ain't that yeah. deep for me. Yeah, man. It's not that deep for me. And I would never, ever get into an argument or a discussion Over. with someone around Halloween. Like, if you yeah. believe in it and you want to... I don't even nothing to believe in. If yeah. you want to celebrate it, yeah. you celebrate it. It's the same like um, people trying to bring <clears throat> Thanksgiving to the UK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... Obviously, if you know the reason around Thanksgiving, it's yeah. a real American yeah, yeah, facts. holiday. It's, the origins it's got of nothing America, yeah. to do with the UK. But like some people... So if you want to do that, I'm not going to argue and yeah, say... It's, 
It's not because a do it, yeah. innit? If food's running, yeah. invite me. Yeah, facts. I'm there. As long as no pork's yeah. running, or if pork's running over there, it's calm. Don't touch the chicken, innit? As long as the pork don't touch the chicken. It's <laughs> well, it's a tur- and, and thanks oh, turkey, a turkey yeah, thing, innit? Facts, turkey thing, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But that's like a real, but people try to bring, like, I've seen Thanksgiving invites going up right. or people having Thanksgiving dinner. Which I guess the concept of it is good, like Thanksgiving. Yeah, just, just being like, just give thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. But obviously, it's a real American thing, and I assume probably that's where Halloween's come from. <coughs> like, it yeah. seems like it's a lot more celebrated in America than it is over here. Yeah. yeah so maybe it's something that we've adapted. Yeah. And kind of made our own. But some people, but again, for some people, it is a serious thing because they're they're they've kind of got that fixation or that kind of connection with the occult. When we yeah. talk about the occult, we talk about this like quote unquote spiritual realm or spiritual things, um, the dead, the this, that, and the other, you know. So for those people, if it's serious, it's serious, isn't it? But for me, it's just like, brother, I ain't seen a duppy since I've been born. So, so you wanna bring that on yourself? I can't bring it on myself. I'm protected from. Oh yeah, I was protected, and I don't run the church thing too tough. <laughs> but the Lord got me. You get me, guys. <laughs> That's good. That's, you know what? We There is going to be a time we touch on that. Someday. Yeah, yeah, we will. Fam. There is. There's you a can time. Tell, you can tell that I'm ready to talk about it. Though, yeah, 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 yeah you it mentioned often, it a few it? times. So there's... I'm because I've been, to me, it's I'm interesting. Sorry. Like, we've had a few conversations yeah, off yeah, yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe it's someone else needs to come in and do it as well. And I'm like a third person. Uh, maybe someone that's still uh, heavily involved. In religion, yeah, I don't know who, but it'd be right. good to get someone in to get to get like a third person's opinion. Yeah, man, I'm up for, I'm up for any kind of conversation and discussion from. So, so good, good to see. So the Halloween thing is, it's just each to their own, isn't it? Each to their own, innit? I would encourage just getting sweets off of like ten kids to get sweets off adults because I don't trust any of them. And the maddest thing adults, is, but... so every other day of the year, we tell our kids don't accept don't, kids, don't accept don't talk to strangers. strangers. Don't, no. <laughs> Apart from Halloween, we say it's okay to go yeah. and knock the door say, on look, us. Don't go to an, a person you don't know's house, okay? Yeah. If someone says you want to come to his house, don't go. Yeah, don't go. But now, go to that go person's to, house and, and knock the door. Sweet, yeah. And text sweetie. Mad. Yeah. Mad. But, but yeah. that's not a part of our culture anyway, to be honest. And maybe that's why when I got old enough, I struggled with that whole concept and then I've accepted that concept and it's yeah. not something I believe in. Yeah, so maybe that's that's where I come from. Yeah, but right. everyone to their own, man. If you're out celebrating Halloween, so this will come out Friday. Halloween will be Saturday. Yep. So if you're out celebrating, you're dressing up. I know certain people like to put on uh, the little dresses, you know, you included. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. You know, then, you know, <laughs> I encourage all of that. Do yeah, your man. thing. Tag us in, innit? Tag us in any uh, interesting pictures. <laughs> I can over here. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. I don't know why you're making it sound that's not in it. So yeah, those of you who are gonna celebrate, be safe. No, no, on a real one. If you're, right, if you're right. gonna celebrate, be safe. You know. Yeah. Be safe doing what though? Just be safe out there. Isn't it? Ten o'clock. They have to come home anyway. Oh snap! Well, you can't go out nowhere. Is COVID still on. COVID is still that. right now. Whatever date we're in, the twenty seventh of October, two thousand and twenty. Yeah. COVID is live. I just forgot all about COVID already, you know. I know. We got the um, hand sanitizer though. Yes, whatever, on deck. We've got our Stick sheet in, that yeah. we sign in, so that we signed in. So we're taking it we're, serious. We're cool. We are, we are. We're facts, facts. There we go. Episode six. Bang, bang, bang. Touched on a few subjects. Uh, we will go into our outro. Probably about now. We're all right. Coming to a close, man. Coming to an end. Just a quick summary of what we've been talking about. So we talked about NSARS. Yep, NSARS. NSARS, the seriousness of Nigeria, the kind of the policing, quote unquote, system um, and wanting justice for them right there. Definitely. Talked about um, the MP's decision for the no vote for free school meals yep. um, outside of term times and that for that for the kids. Um, then we end with Halloween, yep. pagan day, season, uh, the celebration <laughs> and that. Do we celebrate it or not? And we've kind of said that we don't. Nah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Quick quick fire questions for the big man, yeah? All right, let's go, let's go. All right, boom. If you could say one word for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yes. <laughs> if you, uh, what's the stupidest mistake you've ever made in your life? Why? That's, that's deep, man. Um, 60 seconds. Yeah. Stupidest mistake I've ever made in my life. 
That's that's <laughs> hard. I, 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 I want to bet Thanks to answer that. that. Quick um, fire questions, fam. No, nah, they are quick fire questions. Um, I don't know. Probably not following up when I won the music competition. I feel like I probably could have done more, but I just lied and expected they was going to come to me. Okay, okay. Uh, if you could live your life again, what would you do differently? One thing. These are like proper... I asked Big you like Cardi from. B's T. <laughs> yeah, I knew. You asked me like, if I could live my today. life again. I'm on a deep one today, bro. Um, if I could, what would I do different? I would do everything the same, man. I feel like, oh, yeah. I, I feel like I've had some good experiences. Maybe, in reality, I'd have probably done a trade. Made it, done a trade. Yeah, that's it. Like, I would have went to college and maybe done a trade. Yeah. Just so I've got something to fall back on. Random. If you could sleep with any girl in the world, who would it be? My girlfriend. <laughs> Greatest answer in the world. Mm. Uh, who do you love more, your son or your daughter? <laughs> yeah, I can't even this guy. What is this guy on? <laughs> you can't answer that. All right, last question. Um, I thought it meant to be free. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it free? All right, one All right, more, one right, more, right one go more. to you, go to um, you. What's your opinion on Cardi B and um, Offset have got back together? What's your thoughts? Great, man. Black love to the world. Show people that it can be done. So what? You might cheat. So what? So what? He's got other girls. With love, love you can overcome. achieve everything. Because Whitney Houston once told me, I believe the children are the future. That's deep, you know. Yeah? That's Teach deep. them well, and you let them lead the way. And I, I believe that's what Cardi B and Offset are doing. Dead, yeah? Yo. So shout out to them. Shout out to Deja, that was dope. <laughs> 60 questions, killed it. <laughs> Did answer all the questions, but yeah, I'm allowing you. Do you give me some mad questions. Shout out to Google for the questions, innit? Broken Generation, episode six. We're there. We'll be back next week and every week until we hit season two. Then yeah. we've got some specials in season two. Facts, facts. Last name Henry on Instagram. It's Danger on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, man. Broken Generation podcast on Instagram.